Yes. I am drinking coffee out of Hello Kitty Cup. My cup. Which is awkward for the book that I'm about to review. The book I'm about to review, <laughs> review is Nine and a Half Weeks, A Memoir of a Love Affair, Elizabeth McNeil, a foreword by Francine Probst. I'll read you the back of it just to kind of give you that weird overview thing. Um, the powerful erotic memoir that inspired the legendary film, a foreword by best-selling novelist Francine Prose. Nine and a Half Weeks is a true story, so unusual, so pa so passionate, and so extreme, it's psycho psychology and sexuality that it will take your breath away. Elizabeth McNeil is an executive for a large for a large corporation when she begins to have a love affair with a man she met casually. Their sexual experiment depends on a pattern of domination and humiliation, and the relationship proceeds or preceded their playful out even more dangerous and elaborate ventures on a pattern of sadomasochism. By the end, Elizabeth has relinquished all control of her body and her mind, and they cool, with a cool detachment that makes that makes the experience and sensations that she describes all the more frightening to our in their insanity. Elizabeth McNeil defy, defies unfolds in a story that invites you to the memorizing and dangerous world of nine and a half weeks, a world you're not soon to forget. When I picked up this book, I picked it up purely for the cover. I had no idea it was actually a film. Um, then it's fairly short. When I saw it was a memoir, I was like, really, can you fit that much of a story into this much? Was I wrong? This got a 5 out of 5 for me. Um, when I was reading it, it's not that long of a book. Like, there's some pages that are that, and that's the page. Um, there's no real chapters. There's, each section is about two pages, um, or one page even, or two pages. It goes by very, very quickly. Um, it's 117 pages. Yeah. But it got a 5 out of 5 because it's real. And the description... Oh my god. I'm very big, big into the messed up stories. So I think that's why I really got into this book. Was because it's very messed up. It's very different. It's very everything. Um, it's about this lady who she meets this guy, they start having sex, and it goes from casual sex to her dressing up as a man in a hotel room. The ending where the guy leaves makes me so mad at him. I want to go find him and kill him. Like, who does that to somebody? I, I, I have very limited knowledge, I guess you could say, of the subdom culture. Um... My knowledge is very general of it, so I don't have that experience to know how far is too far in this. But I feel like what he does to her, and all he makes her do, and all he... Uh, it just seems crazy. I don't get what people get off from that, but... There's some crazy shit in this world that I don't understand. So, what can I really say? <clears throat> But the lady is so strong throughout this, she takes it as a grain of salt. She just goes, this happened, this is how I felt, this is where it went, and this is what happened next. 
I wouldn't be able to do that with half the shit that he does to her. I mean, he ties her to tables. He makes her dress like a man. He... If she starts complaining about something, he packs her bags and tells her to leave. But she's so enthralled in the relationship, she doesn't want to leave. Um, it's different. Like, it's that power play. It's the, you know, the master, I guess you could say, you know, controlling the partner. I... I liked it, oddly, creepily enough. I mean, it took me a bit to get into it, but when I did get into it, I definitely did get sucked into this world. Um, it was a bit scary at times. I'm like, oh my god, what if somebody did this to me? I'd flip my shit. And it was only this big of a book. I have never in my life, I've read... 600 page books well, I'll have Hopkins, 600 page books that have such a storyline in them, they grip you but I think it's because this is a memoir, this actually happened that scares the shit out of me and makes me want to see the movie so, I probably am going to watch the movie and do a review on that separately from this, but I will bring up this again And hopefully, the movie does it justice. Hopefully, you know how they say, the legendary film, I hope it really is all this book is. Because this book is so strong that I think anybody who likes this kind of stuff should read this book. And I don't even know anything else to say. <laughs> um, right now, I'm reading, I don't have the cover on it. But uh, I'm reading Infinity by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is Nick's book, first book. It's quite thick. This is the first thick book that I've read, and I'm only on chapter two. So I'm only going to do that part of this. But I'm already kind of hooked. Those things are starting to twist a little bit already, and I'm like, hey. So I have three movie reviews to do up next and a book haul eventually. I will not say now, I will say eventually because I don't know when I'm be doing it because I do have to work on homework today. So I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a wonderful day.